just from one Google search, you're now seeing dentists and their emails all from Instagram. If you want more control, that's why you can now use agent mode to go ahead and be super specific and be your lead sniper for you. 50 dentists from across Arizona with their names, website, email addresses. This is actually insane that they were able to do this. All 50, it honestly seems like more than 50. We can also filter by location. So say I wanted to do Arizona again, I could go in here, I can narrow by zip code if I wanted to. In this video, I'm gonna show you some free ways to do prospecting to actually generate leads from scratch, from nothing, for free, zero dollars. And we're also gonna show you some ways to do it if you don't mind paying money to do a little bit more efficiently, but we're gonna show you both. So first and foremost, this really all came about because I remember these kind of Boolean searches that you can do in different platforms. Let's just say you wanted to find dentists and you wanna find their emails. This is one way that you can do it. So I'm just gonna go to google.com, shout out Arc Browser, that's all I'm in right now. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this, exactly what I just showed you in Notion. So if I search this, you're gonna see, literally, Dr. Alicia, you're gonna see her Instagram name, and then you should see right here, her email. So this is amazing, because like you just saw, just from one Google search, you're now seeing dentists and their emails all from instagram you can also see here another one kj newartdental.com so this is something that was right underneath all of our noses the entire time whoever posts their email on instagram whoever lists their email on instagram so that's just one way and let's just say you want to find linkedin facebook you can do those same things by literally just subbing out instagram for any other website you're looking to search in this same type of way. So if I literally do LinkedIn in the same type of way, God forbid our browser lets me copy something. If I do LinkedIn the exact same way, I did the other search on Instagram, search it, and as you can see, a lot of we are hiring posts, I noticed that also. Somebody who's looking for a job could probably use this in a smart and creative way too. Just ask GBT how you can reorient the prompt. But as you can see, once again, we've got emails, emails, Brad Hughes probably got his phone number to new smiles clinic at Gmail. This is your free way to really get on the ground and search and find leads. And so now you're probably wondering, well, am I going to literally have to like go to every single web URL, search through the people? Let's go back to the Instagram version. So yeah, now you're probably wondering like, am I really going to have to go through every single one of these copy and paste their email? Like what is the best step to life hack? from here. Well, that's what I'm here for. So all you're going to do is you're just going to copy everything just straight up, drag, copy that simple. And then all you're going to do is go to your chat GPT type format, the data below into these columns, first name, last name, company name, website, URL, email, phone number. So now you're asking GPT to basically just take, this is literally just everything that was on Google copied you can see the nanji twins all the people that we saw before you can see same thing here i literally just copied and pasted that in the gpt and then gpt came back and said oh bet i got you say less i just wanted to show you a small version as you can see this is how you can get up and running for free you don't have to wait to pay anything if you just want to hurry up and get out there and start contacting leads cold calling cold emailing cold dming there's no barrier to entry no gatekeepers. You can just get up, go crazy, search Google and find the people you want to find. So that was only step one. So now we're going to see what you can do to find leads for $20 a month. And that $20 a month is going towards ChatGPT's pro plan. So you can access agent mode. As you can see, I've already got it working right now. The only thing that I put in the prompt, you can see, can you search, find and create a table with these columns of 50 dentists in Arizona? First name, last name, company name, website URL, email, and phone number. So the exact same columns we were working with before. And agent mode is just going to go to work. Agent mode is going to go out there and do all the research for you to find your leads for you. It's that simple. It's really crazy because this was under our nose all along as soon as they released this. And you can see it's literally searching the web, finding dentists in Arizona, opening the contact pages, 
and then extracting their email and all the information. If you want more control, that's why you can now use agent mode to go ahead and be super specific and be your lead sniper for you. Let's go ahead and check out what the agent came up with. So it did work for 45 minutes, so it worked for a little bit of time, but as you can see, it has cleanly outputted 50 dentists from across Arizona with their names, website, email addresses. This is actually insane that they were able to do this. All 50, it honestly seems like more than 50. And I can put this in a CSV super easily by just copying that table. And so if we just paste this in here, you can see we now have a fresh spreadsheet of new leads. That simple, literally that easily. That's insane. This is one of the best things about GBT agent mode is you can walk away from your computer, come back and have a lead list that's super targeted with phone numbers and emails. That's honestly pretty amazing, to be honest. With ProPlan, you can use agent mode for 40 messages. But hey, say for example, you know, maybe you have a little bit of a budget to work with. And by a little bit of a budget, I literally just mean maybe you have $60. And what we're going to do with that $60 is we're going to go straight to Apollo. And Apollo is personally my favorite prospecting platform, if I'm being for real. The screen that you're going to be most interested in is people. They get most of their data from LinkedIn. So it's not like they're just making up people. You can already see PwC India. You know, they're actual Accenture. They're real vetted companies on here. Say, for example, we wanted to keep going with that dentist example. I could come in the industry and keywords, another one of their filters. I wanted to enter dentists in here. I'll enter dentists and dentistry just in case those are different keywords that people define themselves by. And as you can see, we're at about a hundred thousand now with those two company keywords. Already you can kind of start to see the picture. The reason that these are all the same company is because I have it limited by number of employees. But if we made this smaller to just like one to 10 and 11 to 20, you're going to start to see those that narrowed it down from a hundred thousand people to 14,000 people based on who works at these companies that have this many employees you can already see there we can also filter by location so say i want to do arizona again i could go in here i can narrow by zip code if i wanted to but i'll just say arizona the arizona us pops up we go ahead and pick that it'll filter it down from fourteen thousand to 265. you might also be seeing some of these have red x's some of these have green checks by the access email and so that's another reason why I'm probably going to change how I'm filtering this because I can choose to filter by the email status being verified, cut this down from 265 to now 84. So 84 verified emails. And obviously you can double check, you know, you can use an email finder. There's plenty and I actually link them below of different email verification platforms, but I typically trust Apollo, but obviously a lot of people say you want to double check your emails and verify those. But now you have 84 office managers, social media managers, that's funny, office managers, business managers, et cetera, that you can reach out to that work at dentistries in Arizona. And obviously you can change that to whatever your leads are. Now you're obviously like, I want to get the contact info. Like how do I actually take these off platform, use it, et cetera. All you're going to do is check this box right here next to the name, go to select all. You're going to go to apply and then this button's going to pop up export and it'll export it as a CSV. What I will show you is a process of taking the actual output from Apollo and putting it somewhere you can work with it in automations and AI agents, etc. So let's go ahead and import a new CSV that I got from Apollo. So if I go to import, that's how you do it in Notion, import new page, and then I just go to CSV and I'm going to find here are some of the previous lead lists I've downloaded from Apollo. This one, let's just use this one. And we're going to actually see everybody that's in there in a second. But as you can see, it's going to import the notion that you're going to map your CSV headers. And you can see it's going to bring up all the different columns, first name, last name, title, same thing we had in Apollo company, company name. And there's what we're looking for big time emails for sure. We love that. It shows that the emails are verified. It shows the email source. Some of these columns you can get rid of. And if you just want to get rid of something, you can just go to don't import. But you're going to see it gives you all of this information that Apollo was kind of hiding in the cut until you exported the CSV. It even shows you the seniority, 
the departments they work in, the number of employees of the company, which we saw before. It gives you the industry, the company keywords. So as you can see, if you truly want a lead list that's robust, comprehensive, a ton of information, and you can get thousands, I downloaded this from Apollo as well. And you can see this one goes deep. This one is about 1,100, 1,200 just straight targeted, filtered, specific leads all from Apollo. So as you can see, if you're looking for clients that are in your ideal client profile, really no better bang for your buck than to pay that $60 a month. So as you can see, there's really kind of no better bang for your buck. You can see $60 a month for 5,000 credits. So they're basically doing like a thousand for 10. So like a thousand leads for $10. That's an amazing deal, especially since you know that these leads are actually real people, real companies, etc. So Apollo, to me, great deal, great bang for your buck. And I'm going to leave a link below. There are many different ways to get leads. You can do manually from Google, which still can be done if you need to do it for free and you're willing to get dirty and you're willing to do manual work. If you don't want to do that, you could also use GPT agent mode, which is still running for me, finding emails, being my assistant, being my sales assistant, researching those leads. That's another way. And then, of course, also can't forget about good old Apollo. So those are your really three best ways to do prospecting. So I'm going to leave the link to Apollo in the description and everything else that I pretty much talked about here. In the next videos, we're going to talk about researching leads to figure out who's most compatible with you and also how to automatically do outreach to leads through using N8N so you don't have to use and don't have to pay for MailChimp instantly, et cetera.